Hi guys, I'm Phil, welcome to another Microsoft tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to add your very own coloured blocks to the game. So, today's tutorial, I have already wrote everything, because there's actually quite a lot to write, so I wanted to shorten the length of this tutorial and simplify a bit. So, I have got the code, you can get it on GitHub, I'll put a link in the description, if I remember. Um, so yeah, everything is available for you to look at. And yeah, so let's go and explain how this works. So, what well, our block is a canvas block, so that basically means that you can paint it. That's the idea of a canvas, and the paintbrush that we added in the last tutorial, that's able to right-click our block and change the colour, which is quite useful, to be honest, and I find it quite cool. So, here's our block class. It extends a con block container and a tile entity provider. You don't need both, but I, I have both, just to make sure it knows we want a tile entity, and it's all, so it's here to say it's a tile entity. So, I just set the default hardness and the resistance and your localized name, uh, what you expect, and material is cloth, because that's sort of what a canvas is. So, what we're going to be using is, we're going to be using our onblock activated method, which will actually make it, so when we right click it with a paintbrush, it will change the colour. So what we do is we check that the item in the correct hand is the paintbrush, so basically the item that clicked it. Then what we do is we get the tile entity of where it is, which this is our tile entity class, uh, I'll go through this later. And what it does is it gets the canvas tile entity, we set the colour of the tile entity to the colour from the stack compound. Uh, from the item stack, which we already set in last time as the color tag. And we make sure to make the world send something up to the client to say, hey, you need to re-render this block because it's just been updated. And we have our add information like last time, which just says the color correctly. Now the get pick block, this is a really quite simple method. and Pick block is when you middle mouse click a block, and what this does is it makes sure you get the right block from when you pick block the block. I'll show you later, but you are actually able to, say you've got a red canvas, you can middle mouse click it, and you can get the red canvas again and just place it normally. Um, you will have to update it, because it does take a while for it to process. Uh, now, here we make sure that it renders as a model. We create the tile entity here. And when we place it, we want to make sure to re-render the block. And we set the colour. So actually, it might be a good idea to re-render it after we set the colour. Um, that might fit that, fix that problem. Now, this get drops, this isn't a fully functioning method. And the reason why it isn't is because we actually need a packet. Because what the problem is with it is, on the client side, it, the get drops is called... And all get drops does is says what should be dropped. But on client side, the tile entity doesn't exist in the world because it's clients only. The tile entity exists on the server side. So when you do it client side, it's all it's going to do is return a white uh, canvas block. Whereas if you use a set block command with destroy on the end, what it'll do is it'll actually drop it correctly with the correct colour from the tile entity and using packets we will be able to fix this and set the right colour correctly so next you need to go into mod blocks you want to do everything that you would do normally you want to initialise your block register your block register the render now here, here's, here's a new thing we need to register the block colours now this is pretty similar to the item one so, you will recognise this, this is exactly the same as the item one, other than changing it to canvas. But here, is actually the one that says that block has a specific colour. So, we have to do minecraft.getminecraft.getblockcolors.registerblockcolorhandler. And it is pretty self-explanatory. If we, there is a canvas there, we're going to return the colour of the canvas. Otherwise, return white and quite simple so don't forget you need to go to your client proxy and register the block colors and yeah so the block colors if we look at this is the block uh block json file 
what you need to do is you need to actually say the tint index. So as if we go over to here, our tint index is here, the tint index here. But we need to actually state it in block. So we put in the tint index. And now that's actually the item because if it's an element, you have to say for every single element. Uh, our block is quite simple. It just has the particle and everything else is just exactly the same as the item one or then the item one doesn't have a particle quite self-explanatory now the tile entity the tile entity is really simple to understand because all it does is store the color of the tile entity when you create a new instance of tile entity it sets the color to white and you can read the color from the mbt and you can also write the color to the mbt which just saves it correctly and we can get the color and set the color and these are just some saving methods which we use when we did our tile entity tutorial so make sure you need you actually register this tile entity because if you don't you will have issues because i've done this before and it's pain so make sure you've actually registered the tile entity now if we go over to our event handler this is actually a fix because i added a recipe for the paintbrush and there isn't a recipe for the canvas yet there will be but the problem is it only will craft it if it's got the um MET data now our tooltip event here will make sure that it gets the data um, so if it's paintbrush and it doesn't have the tag it will set the tag to white and add the thing saying it's white so that is actually all the code done it's a lot of code and it took me a long time to actually figure out that code but it's pretty cool what you can do with it it's pretty cool so yeah let's just wait for the game to load up okay so the game is loaded up so if you go inside of our test world you will actually be able to see our brand new canvas in the game which is amazing because i love this canvas it's actually really cool so uh that was just from me testing earlier um so i'll just clear that because it doesn't drop it correctly i will show you this so we're gonna need a paintbrush and i'm gonna get two paintbrushes and you're gonna need a canvas and there isn't oh that's a bugged one you don't want that um so the canvas you can see it says the color of the canvas you can place it down nice and beautifully if that's even a word and we can just build it like this now let's go get some colors so if i just get us another paintbrush i'm gonna get a full red one and a full light blue one so don't forget you can craft this like last time so i just craft it like this normally and we've painted it it's actually really cool and it does save it correctly i have tested this so if you well you would have seen the intro uh, the canvas world is actually where i created my cj minecraft logo so this took me about 10 minutes to write out this using the canvas which is really really cool i really love this it's amazing so thank you guys for watching if you like comment and subscribe i am out